Welcome back as we continue with our JFK Media Coverage Special here on Press Party. The Kennedy family kept their image polished in the public eye, but 50 years later, those images are fading and the pictures aren't perfect. In Camelot. The pictures show a perfect family with Hollywood glamour. Camelot. A young John Kennedy captivated Massachusetts as a rising political star. There was always a picture up in the mantle. You had the Pope, Kennedy, and, and Jesus. <laughs> So he, he was in that category, you know, with the Pope and Jesus. He caught the attention of the nation in the first televised debate, and he was the first president to hire an official White House photographer to capture the moments the public didn't usually see. And healthy and vigorous and playing touch football and out there sailing. This is the image of him, which they cultivated. After his death, Jackie Kennedy continued the vision of Camelot. But 50 years later, as a generation who knew Kennedy gets older, he's no longer seen as a hero. A recent New York Times article points to textbooks in the 80s saying he produced rather meager legislative accomplishments and that he pursued civil rights with a notable lack of vigor. Reporting for Press Party, I'm yeah. Katie Eastman. All right, Phil, you said you read that New York Times article and it aggravated you. What about that? Well, I think that the Kennedys uh, are human beings and, and they're subject to the same flaws and fo foibles as the rest of us. And I know a lot of them very well and they're, they're, it's a family. And, you know, I have problems in my family and you have, pro we all have problems in our family. No, they're me, just, yeah, me. except for Marjorie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I okay. forgot to, yeah, I forgot about Marjorie. Okay. <laughs> but, and so they're just subject to front page uh, news coverage and it's, it's just goes with the media today. And, uh, but you know, when you look back on them, they've all tried to do their best. They've tried to help the country. They've, they've been engaged in human rights activities, civil rights, uh, uh, peace, and to this day they are. I mean, I see Ethel f frequently, and she still is totally committed to her husband's values, and her children are committed to them. But that doesn't mean that they don't have personal issues that we all, the kinds of which we all have to deal with. But don't you think that the image is fading as your generation gets older? My, I have, I wasn't around when he was shot, and so I have no emotional connection. And so for me, I think that means that they are fading. Yeah, well, yes, they are fading, because the memories will fade, and it will become the equivalent of Abraham Lincoln and that kind of a, a, a memory. But what, what happens here, Helen Thomas once said that in, in the day, and of course she was the dean of the White House press corps for a long number of years, in that time, people didn't report about a politician's personal behavior because the feeling was there was a line and as long as her his personal behavior didn't hurt the the professional behavior of the politician the politics it was sort of an unspoken rule that you didn't cover it frankly i wish we returned to that time mm. but in this in this article mm -hmm. it doesn't just point to flaws in his personal life it points to flaws in his policies and that we've been saying he was going to do great things, and they say, well, maybe he wasn't going to do great things. Oops. Yeah. Well, I don't think we, we, we know. I mean, the big debate, would he, have, would he have escalated in Vietnam? Would he not have escalated in Vietnam? I mean, he was a cold warrior. I, I don't know. But I think the mystique, it, 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 he never got the chance, you know, that to be so young and have that taken away. And I'm not sure. I mean, there are some very talented. Joe Kennedy is the new congressman mm. from Massachusetts, a very smart young man, a very charismatic young man. Caroline Kennedy, the new ambassador to, she lost her father, murdered, her mother in her 60s, her brother in that tragic plane crash. She is a very impressive, very smart um, woman. She's not like her parents, but um, I think she's quite a, a strong, uh, Brilliant young woman, a great ambassador. You know, the, he, he, they had the tapes. You know, we put tapes in the uh, tape recorders in, in the White House. And, and uh, it, interestingly, unlike Nixon, when, when he was exposed for what he was, uh, if you listen to the tapes of the Cuban Missile Crisis, you have to thank God that John F. Kennedy yeah, exactly. was in the White That's a great House point. during that period. Exactly. That's a great point. Yeah, and in channels. fact, yeah, and the reason right. why he didn't is because after the Bay of Pigs, mm -hmm. which was set up by the Eisenhower administration, the generals and the CIA said, you got to do this, invade Cuba. And when it was a miserable failure, he looked back and he's, he's on record as saying that I didn't get here because I listened to other people I, and did what they wanted me to do. I got here because I listened to them and then made a decision for myself. And I think you saw that during the Cuban Missile Crisis. My guess is, has he had the 
he continued with his first class poli foreign policy failure in Vietnam, he would have pulled the plug long before we had 560,000 young men and women Jackie there and 58,000 casualties. Jackie says that in the, uh, in oh, the yes. spring of 64 interviews with mm -hmm. Admiral Schlesinger, yes. which were just published uh, last year. And Kenny O'Donnell, who was my close friend, mentor when I was a kid, uh, always said that to me, that the president intended to pull a plug after the 64 election. And I think if you look at the last year or two of his life, that's where he was headed. Well, he exactly. said he couldn't do it until he was reelected. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it would have been politically unpopular. For example, one of the reasons why he had to go to Texas that day is because of that speech he had given in June, essentially saying that we have to treat people equally and it's time to give people their rights in this country. And the Democratic Party in Texas was fractured then between the conservatives and the liberals, and he needed to win Texas to win the election. But there's revisionism that goes on about novelists and about movie stars and about presidents. And uh, this, we're in a revisionist period on JFK, but uh, I'm pretty confident that the day, at the end of the day, uh, he's still going to be looking pretty, pretty good. Well, all right, well, that's it for our special edition of Press Party. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Three shots were fired at the president's motorcade. And there was a bang. We believe it was a shot. That President Kennedy is dead.